Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very very interesting question from Harvard MIT entrance exam. Here we have to evaluate sum for 1 over 3 square plus 1, plus 1 over 4 square plus 2, plus 1 over 5 square plus 3 up to infinity. So let's get started by considering this sum equal to s first. Now we'll be writing our general term. If I will consider all the square numbers, then 3, 4, 5, 6 will be there, 7 will be there. And then we have a number which is 2 is smaller than square number 3. A number which is 2 is smaller than square number 4 here. A number which is 2 is smaller than square number 5 here. So we can generalize our expression in the form of n square plus number which is smaller than square number. So that number would be n minus 2. So we can write here general term. General term would be one over n square plus n minus two can we factor our denominator yes we can then we can write one over n square then plus n can be written as two n minus n two n minus n is plus n minus two then we will write one over from n square plus 2n, we will take n common. So in the bracket, we can write n plus 2. From minus n minus 2, we will take negative 1 common. In the bracket, we will get again n plus 2. So in denominator, we can write 1 over n plus 2 times n minus 1. Now we will use partial fraction. To split this product, so I will write here 1 over n minus 1 times n plus 2, which we will write a over n minus 1 plus b over n plus 2. Now we are going to take LCM. So I will write 1 over n minus 1 times n plus 2 in left hand side in RHS will write the product of n minus 1 with n plus 2 in the denominator and in numerator we will write a times n plus 2 plus b times n minus 1. Now we can cancel our denominators. So we will write 1 equal to a n plus 2a plus b n minus b or 1 equal to a plus b times n in the bracket times n plus 2a minus b. Now we are going to compare coefficients from both the sides. So in LHS there is 0 times n. We can write here 0 times n plus. So we will equate 0 with a plus b. And we will equate 1 with 2a minus b. So let me write a plus b equal to 0 and 2a minus b equal to 1. Now we will add both the equations. So once we will add both the equations 2a minus b equal to 1. We will get 3a equal to 1 or a equal to 1 over 3. Once a is 1 over 3, b is minus a. So here we are going to write 1 over 3 and in place of b as we have b equal to minus a 
so we will write minus 1 over 3 this is the value of b so here we will be writing minus 1 over 3 in place of b so our general term will be i will write general term a is 1 over 3 so we will write 1 over 3 over n minus 1 then we will write plus sign b was minus 1 over 3 we will write minus 1 over 3 over n plus 2 or i can take 1 over 3 common out so in the bracket i can write 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n plus 2 now we will write each of the summation terms using this formula so if i will write 1 over 3 square plus 1 then i will write 1 over 3 in bracket n is 3 so i will write 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 2 i can write 1 over 3 multiplier in bracket 1 over 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 1 over 3 plus 2 is 5 similarly our second term would be 1 over 4 square plus 2 will be equal to 1 over 3 in bracket 1 over 4 minus 1 minus 1 over 4 plus 2 this will be equal to 1 over 3 as it is then in bracket we will write 1 over 3 minus 1 over 6 Similarly, third term would be 1 over 5 square plus 3 equal to 1 over 3 in bracket 1 over 5 minus 1 minus 1 over 5 plus 2. So, we will get 1 over 3 in bracket 1 over 4 minus 1 over 7. If I will write another term, I will write here 6 square plus 4 this will give us i am writing here 1 over 3 in bracket 1 over 5 minus 1 over 8 another term will give us 1 over 3 in bracket 1 over 6 minus 1 over 9 now we have to add all the terms for calculating s summation s so if we will cancel minus 1 over 5 then it is here if we will cancel minus 1 over 6 then it is here if we will cancel minus 1 over 7 then there would be 1 over 7 minus 1 over 8 there would be plus 1 over 8 minus 1 over 9 there would be plus 1 over 9 so only these three terms will be there 1 over 2 1 over 3 and 1 over 4. So I can write sum equal to 1 over 3 in bracket 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. So I can write sum equal to 1 over 3 in bracket will write 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Now we will take LCM. So I need to write 1 over 3 over here. And if I will write our denominators same, that is 12. So I need to multiply 2 with 6. So I need to write 1 times 6, 6 plus. We need to multiply 3 with 4. So in numerator we have to write 4 plus. We need to multiply 4 with 3. So that we will get 12 in the denominator. So, in the numerator, we will write 3 equal to 1 over 3. Now, we will write 6 over 12 plus 4 over 12 plus 3 over 12. So, we can write 1 over 3 in bracket 6 plus 4 plus 3 divided by 12. So, 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So 1 by 3 times 
थर्टीन ओवर ट्वेल्व एस इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री टाइम्स थर्टीन ओवर ट्वेल्व सो अवर फाइनल आंसर वुड बी थर्टीन ओवर थ्री टाइम्स ट्वेल्व इज थर्टी सिक्स सो सम विल बी थर्टीन ओवर थर्टी सिक्स आई होप फ्रेंड्स यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब बाय टेल नेक्स्ट वीडियो गुड लक टेक केयर बाय